which is black holes and the stars. So everybody got shocked. Hey, how is this possible? It has proved that general relativity and quantum mechanics both are right. How can it be possible? It means a string theory is a theory of everything, a complete unified theory. But a string theory actually isn't completed. Actually. Because actually now string theory as a whole we really do not know the string theory what is is it is first of all very confusing and a string theory as an entire we do not know because general relativity anyone on YouTube makes video seek a general theory of relativity cable patch to me but when general relativity was published even of the greatest physicist in the history in the world on the earth only three persons understood the central theory of relativity one was albert einstein himself so it is not so easy to understand the central theory of relativity because it can blast our skull and our mind and our brain so it's really very difficult task because it thinks about the curved space and all our other partial theories think that space time is nearly flat it is flat but general theory says that it uh, just like the space is curved, the time is curved as a whole space time is curved due to the heavy distribution of energy mass as a whole matter in it. That's why light will pass it just like light is also not some form of energy. So anything can be of course bent space time is, is itself curved. So light should be also bent when it passes through the heavy mass of the sun. And of course it is tested during the solar eclipse in 1919 by a British physicist. Since it was the time of world war, but still, even in the case, a British physicist proved a general physicist, a something Germany physicist theory correct that central relativity is correct. Later, what happened? Later, everybody got onto it. That how is it possible that any man can predict anything and it is hundred percent correct without measuring only by the results of thought experiments by thinking that this can be possible and this can be possible then let the other scientists try to measure can general theory of relativity be entirely correct later two science some scientists took two clocks two identical hundred percent same clocks clocks and one was put deep under ocean and the other was put to the top of everest and mounts and mountains and later when the clocks were brought together again so they saw that there was time difference between the clock the which was put deep under earth that was going slow and which was just put over the top mountains that was going faster so it was proved that really about the gravitational potential time dilation that due to the heavy gravity due to the heavy curvature of space time space time is curved that's why time also gets slower and slower and if we come to such a point that space time is infinitely curved space time is totally curved the curveness whatever is curvature of space time that is infinite curvature of the universe will be infinite then time comes to an end time comes to a stop and this theory was applied in 1970 by great physicist professor stephen hawking that there was a time at the beginning of time actually is it is wrong sentence there was a time at the beginning of time because how can there exist a time before the time? Because in 1970, Stephen Hawking wrote a joint paper with Roger Penrose that there was a beginning of time, there was a beginning of universe. And what happened before that cannot be proved using the scientific theories. Because all our partial theories point that space time is nearly flat but at that time space time our universe curvature of it was infinite which can never be said as nearly even very much nearly very less nearly it cannot be said as flat later it was proved it means our partial theories cannot stand here 